Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Here in Long Island, the sun is shining bright, the skies are blue, and there's a nice breeze. Today it's going to be about 85 um, degree, degrees for those of you here in Long Island. But God is good. I thank Him and I praise Him. I want to look up and, and speak to you. I thank Him and I praise Him for all of His goodness, all of His greatness, all of His glory. He is wonderful. He is magnificent. And He could be your Savior today. All you have to do is just let Him in your heart. One of these days you're going to do it. <laughs> One of these days you're going to say, you know what? Jesus, come into my heart and change me. Come into my life and change me. Let me see who you really are so that I can know who I really am. Today we're talking about having joy beyond happiness. Happiness is from circumstance. Joy is from God. There's a verse in the Psalms, Psalm 1611, that says, For at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. There is a fullness of joy in the presence of God. God is the only one that can bring you joy. God is the only one that can fulfill the contentment that you are looking for. Joy is contentment. Joy is being satisfied. God is the only one that can satisfy you. Not sex, not drugs, not holding on to anger, saying, you know, I'm not going to forgive them because they did this to me. And it may be very heinous and horrible what they did to you. But think of what Christ did for us on the cross. It says in Ephesians 4 that we are to forgive as God forgave us in Christ Jesus. I want the saints to remember that, that we cannot hold on to anger. I was guilty of that. I'm not condemning anybody. I was guilty of that. I held on to anger against my abuser, um, against different people that had hurt me in my life. But God has helped me to release that anger and receive his joy. Receive satisfaction that God knows what he's doing and God can vindicate and will vindicate. I had a sister tell me one time, she says, um... God has the best vengeance. And then another lady said when I told her that, that God has the best vengeance, she said, yes, God has the best vengeance and the best forgiveness. And I like that. I like that. Joy can be yours today if you just open up your heart to him. Joy is the satisfaction and the contentment and the I don't even know how to describe it. I'm talking about in, in bad circumstances, when you're going through bad circumstances. People say, you know, how did you get through that? You know, how were you able to have a good attitude through that horrible experience that you experienced? And they asked me that. And I said, because the joy of the Lord. I know that the Lord is with me and not because of me. Don't get it twisted. Not because of me but because of his son and what he did for me on that cross, y'all. He did it for all of us. You just have to receive it. You just have to receive Christ today. But joy can be yours. The joy can be yours when you're in traffic and it's, <laughs> and it's somebody cut you off and you say, you know what? God, I don't want to be angry. I'm just going to not look at that and say thank you that I have a car. Joy is a gratefulness too. It's it's um, it's just being beyond happy. It's 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 a state of being where you're not walking around frustrated and mad and um or sad all the time. Now we have our moments where we're mad and moments of frustration, but we don't live there. The Christian does not live in these things anymore because Christ has changed our lives. There has been a born again experience and encounter with the living God and he has come into our hearts through the Holy Spirit and changed us. I'm not saying he changed us completely. He changed, he started a change and he is continuing to change us. You can have that change today. It could be you. It could be you today with Christ and you have eternal life today, not tomorrow, not in the pie, then the sky high by and by. You can have eternal life today if you receive Christ into your heart. 
and you understand that, Jesus, I'm a sinner. We're not sinners because we sin. We are sinners because we have a sinful nature that propels us to sin. So, we need God. Hello, Miss Maxine. God bless you. God bless you. We need God. And we need that joy. We're talking about having joy beyond happiness. Having joy beyond your circumstances. Your circumstances, our circumstances, should not dictate how we feel. Now, yes, there's some times when we react and we're like, oh, you know, God, you know, I really didn't like what that person did. We can react differently when Christ is in our lives. He helps us. He enables us. He empowers us through his Holy Spirit, through the Holy Ghost, to be different. I was walking through the uh, place where I work, the assisted living place where I work the other day. Um, it was my birthday on Tuesday. I was walking through. And I was just smiling, you know, at the residence. And I heard some lady saying underneath her breath, what's she smiling about? And I heard and I came back and I smiled at her and I said, I said, because today is my birthday and God has been good to me. That's why I'm smiling. <laughs> God has been good to us. You're breathing, aren't you? Yes, you have made, gone through some horrible things. But that doesn't mean that God is not good. That means that people are bad. We are bad if we don't have Christ in our life. I was bad before Christ came into my life. And I'm only in this state of being because of Christ right now. There's no goodness in me. It's all in Jesus Christ. You know, that's hard for us to con con conceive. Wow, you know, you mean I don't have to do anything to be saved except accept it and walk with him and just keep choosing him that that we're saved by Jesus Christ what he did on the cross and walking with him is a totally different life he will change your life he will make it something that you never thought and you say why didn't I do this sooner that's what somebody's going to say today somebody's going to accept Christ and they're going to say why didn't I why didn't I do this sooner have joy beyond, ha beyond happiness. Have the peace of God in your heart, knowing that God is in control and that I don't need to get in a turmoil over things. I can turn to him and say, if your heart is troubled, say, God, I don't like what that person did or I don't like what I did. Help me to not to do that again. Or this situation is weighing me down. I need your strength. I need your grace. I need your peace and I need your joy. Restoring to me your joy that you gave to me at the beginning of our relationship. You just say a simple prayer. Christianity is not complicated. Christianity is simple. It's not complicated. We make it complicated. We are the ones that make it complicated. It's hard sometimes because our selfish this tries to rise up again because we are, we are still in this earth, you know, we still have to deal with the things that are around us, you know, so, but if we allow God to do what he needs to do in us, we'll find that we have better lives than what we had before. God bless you. I love you. I want you to have a great day. God bless you and smile upon you and give you his peace and his joy. Have a great day.